Inside Target Center to Timberwolves fast break alongside Kevin Lynch and Rebecca Brunson. I am Annie Sabo. The Mavericks domination of the Wolves continues this afternoon. 111 to 91 the final. Dallas improves to 3-0 and when facing the Timberwolves this season. This is a game the Wolves never really led at all. And Kristaps Przingis absolutely unstoppable on both offense and defense. 38 points and 13 rebounds on offense. You would think without Luka that, you know, the Wolves would have had a chance to figure out how to get a win or how to keep it competitive for at the least. But they just really couldn't. And I think that Porzingis stepped up huge for them. Um, he, he realizes that when Luka's out that he has to put the team kind of on his shoulders. And then his game paired with the other guards and Hardaway and Curry, it, it was a long night for them. But I would have hoped that the Wolves could have figured out how to be more competitive on the offensive end. And I think that really hurt them the way that they scored the ball tonight. Yeah, the Wolves did not play well mm -hmm. defensively early on. It seemed like Dallas got whatever they wanted in this ball game, especially in the first half. In the second half, things changed a little bit. I thought the intensity for Minnesota was much better. But yeah, the Wolves never threatened this team. I mean, without Doncic, your best player. So that's discouraging, to say the least. And then you got Porzingis doing his thing and Seth Curry making shots. And Dallas is a pretty impressive team. I, I, I'm coming away thinking that they're not the very top of the Western Conference, but after those top couple Los Angeles teams, you, know, you talk about Houston and Denver and this is a Dallas team that can mm -hmm. play with those uh, Western Conference teams, so these guys are pretty good. Yeah, and you made a great point earlier when you talked about the fact that they haven't even figured out how to play well together exactly. with Porzingis and Luka. So once they get that going... Once they maximize oh, each yeah. other's talents. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Porzingis at 38, Seth Curry had 27 as the Wolves dropped this game by 20 points. 38 for Porzingis, and as I mentioned, five blocks. The slow offensive day for the Wolves. They began the game just one for 12 from the field. Let's head downstairs to hear from head coach Ryan Saunders, who's still focused on improvement. You know, I'm, I'm not somebody who says, hey, it's, you got to do this, this, and this. And, you know, you don't look at yourself to see if there's something you can change about um, how your approach may be you know, to that game. So we'll look into that because, you know, when, when you have some, some tough games on, on a, you know, an afternoon Sunday, uh, you know, you, you want to make sure that, and coming off, coming off a trip is a little bit different too, you know, because you, you land late and, uh, you know, you don't necessarily practice like on a day like yesterday, and then it's an early start today, but we'll look at everything. The Wolves facing Zion Williamson and the Pelicans Tuesday on the road, a rematch with the Chicago Bulls on the schedule for Wednesday and Friday. Another date with the Orlando Magic, this time at Target Center. That'll do it for Timberwolves Fast Break. We hope to see you Tuesday beginning at 6.30 right here on Fox Sports North.